Hey, what's happening? What's going on, guys? What's up, LP? DK? How's everybody doing? How's the audio? Is it like kind of echoey in here? I'm in the master bath. I don't know how bad it is. <laughs> so, some of you didn't. Well, yeah, Thomas and, and uh, Thomas D and uh, and uh, CDB were kind of uh, <laughs> kind of confused, I guess, by the little uh, video. <laughs> but I was like, eh, hey, I'm gonna hop in the shower. Let me just, cause like I wanted to do a post. Hey, what's up, Jim? How you doing, man? Uh, I wanted to do a post prior to you know going live, but. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't make it, so I was like, well, I'll just do like a quick video. So, um, I don't have anything scheduled for today. We'll, we'll wait a couple more minutes. I can't even see what time. This is my first YouTube live thing. Um, let me go grab my watch one second. Yeah, you can't see the current time as, uh, uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we have a couple more minutes. Uh, I don't have anything picked out. I have no soap, no razor, nothing picked out. So, so this is kind of like an on the fly type of a uh, thing. Uh, I have some things that I've brought in here that we'll be able to pick from. Um, and brushes, I have all kind of brushes. Hey, what's going on, Josh? How you doing, bro? So, I was expecting like two or three people here. <laughs> all right. So, what brush should I use? Um, I have all of them in here. The two, these, and then, let's see. So, these are the brushes that I have. Two synthetics, two badgers, and two boars. So, because I need to start. Um, what's going on, Alex? Maggard 30 millimeter. <laughs> the, one of the only ones I dislike. Lathering up. Hey, what you uh, what you shaving with, DK? Hey, Gabor, you made it. What's going on, man? What time is it? Uh, what time is it in Central Europe, right? Or is it Eastern Europe? I think you're in Central Europe. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Good, good, good. Maggard 30 millimeter. Okay. Yeah, that kind of works because I don't have to really soak that to get it ready. Um, soaps. Uh, let's see. We still have uh, a little under a minute. Soaps. We have Taylor of Old Bond Street. I haven't used a Taylor of Old Bond Street. I went back and watched videos. 10 p.m. Okay, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad where you are. Um, so you're actually seven hours ahead of me. I thought more like five. Okay. Uh, we have <laughs> Dr. Squatch. Oh, uh, did I have that 10? No, you know what? I threw the 10 away. Uh, I don't have <laughs> I don't have uh, Dr. Squatch anymore. Um, we have the Art of Shaving. <laughs> uh, Schick. Uh, Easy Rider Injector Moon Soap Brush. Yeah, I haven't used Moon Soaps yet. I'm trying to see, is there a way to like make the uh, chat stay up? There's not, okay. All right, I guess I have to keep. And then unreleased soap. Okay, so you were sent the soap by an artisan. I have Mood Indigo um, or The Soloist. Those are the soaps that I brought in here. Uh, so you guys can pick which soap I'm using for this specific shave. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill up my Fuji mug that Alex sent with some warm water. <sighs> Use Mitchell's wool fat? No, no. I um, remember I graded, I graded that puck half of it, I think, or quarter of it, whatever it was, and made my own soap. And I've used that, I used that soap actually a couple of days ago. Um, but the rest of that puck, the rest of Mitchell's Wolfette's puck was used uh, just in the shower. So.
Oh, do you DK? Awesome, man. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, okay, so we're going to use the Maggard. Uh, we'll go with Sandalwood um, from Taylor Old, of Old Bond Street. I haven't used I haven't used uh, any of their soaps in a while. This is still on like the dull side of, of the Sandalwood scents for me. Uh, yeah, the, the wrench means that you have um, <laughs> administrative privileges in the chat. So yeah, if you wanted to kick Alex, go ahead. Um, I'll give you his address, Alex, so you can send him some poop in the mail. All right, so let me go ahead and wet the face. Are we gonna use pre-shave? I have some pre-shaves. Um, I have the cube. We have, uh, we have Parasso Green, and then we have the Glycerin Puck, Colonel Cotton Glycerin Puck. Are we using a pre-shave? I do want to use one, but, but which? Which are we using? And then the razor. I don't know which razor I'm using yet either. It seems like kind of like white balance for some reason. I don't know what's going on with the camera. Am I able to fix that? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. So let's go with, um, let's get into it. I'm going to go with Colonel Con, appreciate it. Or I'm making it into a pre-shave pup. I uploaded the honing video yesterday. I still have the um, I still have all the stones on the table actually. I need to go and get all that moved out. Oh, it's nice. We, uh, I get to see the kid um, a couple times a day. She'll send me videos and um, uh, videos and pictures, and then we'll do um, like a FaceTime. It's like with Duo, not with actual FaceTime. We'll do like a Duo chat every night while he's drinking his bottle. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and get our sandalwood. Oh, yeah. Like I said, for me, this sandalwood, this specific Taylor of Old Bond Street, it's kind of dull. It's not, it's not the bright, vibrant, like, you know, the art of shaving sandalwood. This stuff smells like, I don't even know. It's hard for me to tell you because, all right, let's go ahead and get Taylor of Old Bond Street kind of smushed in the face as well. I figured bowl lathering may take too long, so I didn't bring a bowl in here, but... We'll just go ahead and make the make the pre-shave and the uh, actual soap work together. All right. And that's one thing with creams, you know, just super fast. They work very well. Don't add too much water too quickly though, because you will drown them out, most of them, you know. You are just in time, Thomas. I actually had both of the, uh, actually had the mood indigo that you sent that's the balm this is the soap and then i have the the soloist from wet shaving i have the balm the splash and the um the soap here as well but i think lp said something about the uh using this soap this is <clears throat> i'm using sandalwood from taylor oval bond street Getting a very, very nice lather. I'm going to add some water here shortly. 
nice creamy lather. I was thinking like, um, you know, well, the wife's not here. I'm, I'm eating a lot of uh, like the frozen foods that I'm warming up and that type of thing and like ramen noodles and stuff. So I was thinking, you know, if I get constipated or whatever from eating, you know, because I'm not used to eating all this. I could, I could, um, I was thinking I could treat myself to Taco Bell <laughs> and that, that may help the constipation. It hasn't happened yet, but you know, we're only on the first week. I could probably shave with this lather, but let's play with it some. Actually, you know what? It's pretty much dialed in. Let's go with it. The deep forest. Um, is that the uh, the pine scent? There was one t uh, tub of, of um, yeah, some people do have, have an issue with tobs drying out their face. But I think that's probably with most creams. I don't think that's specific to tobs. Maybe it is. Uh, <laughs> like, you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to, I mess around a lot, uh, Thomas, so, um, you know, just joking, whatnot, so, but, uh, yeah, the wife and the, and the kid are actually, uh, they went to Miami, um, yeah, I, I do, uh, I need to go buy some more meat, actually, let's go with, you know what I'm going to do? Let's go with this. I'm not going to give any thoughts on this, but this is what we're going to use. Um, actually, the other video should be uploaded either tomorrow or Monday. We're going to use the little fine marble. And in this, let's go with a, let's go with a Balzano. Balzano blade. I have some other razors in here as well if this one doesn't do too well in this razor. Let's catch up on chat really quick. Yeah, um, I don't know. She may introduce herself at some point. You said tops can't hold water. Do you um in Florida for Disney World? No, no, they're not going to Disney World. Um, we uh, we're not going to go to Disney World until we can all go because I don't want you know I don't want the kids' first experience to be without me at least. So hey, what's going on, Will? How you doing, man? Glad you can make it. I have to work, so I couldn't go, Mr. Panch. I, um, I'm taking off for Christmas this year, and um, I just I just couldn't get there. She's going for two weeks, so hey, it's okay, Will, no problem. Yeah, I remember that video. Uh, I actually, um, it was recommended, like I was watching videos, and it was recommended to me not too long ago. Uh, my little handlebar mustache video where I walk up to her and, and record it. Um, but yeah, Mr. Panch, I uh, I can't take off for two weeks, you know, in the middle of the year to uh, to go on vacation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we didn't want to. We didn't want to have him go. I mean, he he, you know, he he won't remember any of it anyways. He's not even a year old yet. Oh, what's the work thing I prefer so much? I don't know, man. You know, I just wake up. I um, actually yesterday, you know, yesterday morning I woke up and I was feeling pretty bad. Like, I 
I had a, I take, I took my temperature and my temperature was a uh, hundred point eight or 1.9, something like that. And I said, uh Oh, hope I don't have the, uh, the, you know what? And I had a headache and a sore throat. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'm a home body as well. I like to, uh, if I go on vacation, I'm good for like a, I'm good for like a week max. Then I want to get home. Um, but yeah, I had a headache. I don't think it was allergies. I mean, I don't know. Does allergies give you fever? I don't know. But I checked it last night and it was down to 99.8. And this morning it was at 98.2. So I think I'm okay. I, uh, I don't know what, I honestly don't know what happened. You know? Really weird. All right, second pass. Do you? I can't tell you the last time I was sick. Um, it might have been. It wasn't last year. I didn't get sick at all last year, and I didn't get sick in 2019 either. It might have been 2018, maybe. I am feeling better, G. Appreciate it, man. But um, yeah, I don't know. Last time I was sick, I think it was 2018. I just don't get sick sick too often. It's just not something that uh, that ever really bothers me. And I'm lucky enough to not have allergies. I don't really have any adverse effects to pollen or anything like that. It's all the sodium and the rent and the ramen noodles. It could be. Um, you know, with the headache and with the uh, with the sore throat, I thought you know maybe I just snored a lot. You know that night, uh, Thursday night. But like I don't know, I don't think that accounts for the fever. But it is what it is. It's not a problem. All right, second pass across the growth. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves. <laughs> This is, uh, I don't know, I might do this every Saturday. Now, my wife probably won't let me do it every Saturday, um, well, while she's here at least. I might do it next Saturday because she's not going to be here next Saturday. High ozone levels. Hmm. Thank you, Will. Thank you. Thank you. Um, fever is mostly caused by some kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, that's true. Typically, if you have a fever, that means you have something that it's you know something your body's fighting off. Um. But I felt fine all day Thursday. I felt fine like towards last night around nine or 10. So I don't know, you know, I, who knows? I never lost taste, I never lost smell. And that's like one of the things with, you know what, that's like the main thing. If you lose taste, you lose smell. It typically means you have, you know what? But um, yeah, never lost taste, never lost smell. So I, I don't know. I was able to get up this morning. Well, I got up. I immediately took my took my temperature because I was feeling a little like a little cold. Yep, yep, good. Uh, all good today. I was feeling a little cold, so went and uh, took my temp, and it was the ninety eight point eight or whatever. And um, so I went outside, start started mowing the lawn since you know we haven't been able to do that for some time. And uh, yeah, finished, finished that. I didn't get to do my two full passes in the yard. It's like I wanted to, um, but 
hopefully tomorrow it doesn't rain and I can do my second pass in the yard and get that complete. Oh, I, uh, uh, foot long? No, 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 dude, they were up to my knees. Some of the grass was up to my knees. So, like, you know, two foot long, three foot long. I mean, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, I do have an Instagram, by the way. Uh, it's in the, no, it's not in the description of this. Uh, if you go to Instagram and just search for Thomas the Shaver, I'm there now. Um, there's really nothing, I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with it. But what I'll probably do is just my thumbnails for my videos for YouTube. I'll just, uh, I'll just post those there. I don't think I'll do any exclusive content. So, but yeah, Instagram, Thomas the Shaver. Um, I did post one other video other than, I posted this video, like the one from the, uh, <laughs> from the shower over here when I was in the shower. But other than that, I, uh, I did post one other video on there. Hey, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not making you do anything. I'm not making you do a thing. If you want to, you can. And if you don't want to, you don't got to. Drop some selfies, huh? Okay. Yeah, next you know, I'll have like a, I'll have a, a twerking video, huh? Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> Thomas the Shaver, twerking. With his safety razors. In each hand. TikTok next, yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> can, <laughs> can you imagine me on TikTok? Yeah. Hey. You got thick thighs, you know, you bench a lot. And you squat a lot. Uh, oh no. Alright, well, thanks brother. Have a good uh have a good Saturday. Is anybody watching the fights tonight? There's uh some UFC fights on the night. It's not a big card, it's a small card. Just one of the small events. But should be a pretty good one. The the co-main and the main event at least should be a pretty good event. Hmm. This Balzano seems to be struggling. I've used this fine racer a couple of times now. You gonna watch the Suns game? Okay. Let me switch this blade out, this Balzano. I don't know what's going on with this. The first one I used seemed, seemed to work perfectly fine. Come on, there we go. So yeah, this little Balzano. We'll put in something else, let's see. Let's go with a feather. I don't have another Balzano in here, so. I already have a feather opened up, ready to go though. Let's go with that. Any of us have spotty, uh, spotty performance from Balzano's? Because that's only the second one I've ever used. <laughs> Do I have another tiger left? Yeah. Somewhere in the uh, in the trash can, I could probably find it. Mm. This feather is not playing around though. All right, touch-ups. It's feeling very nice. I um. All right, Thomas, have a go, man. Appreciate you dropping by. You 
Yeah, my channel. Uh, I don't know how much it's grown, but uh, you're, you've been a part of it, so I appreciate you, Alex. Um, Gabor, I appreciate... Uh, am I saying your name right, Gabor? G-A-B? Or is it like Gabor? Yeah, because it, it has like the, uh, the A with the... So, you know, I have an American pronunciation. I'm sorry. Um, but Alex, you know, all you guys will... Tom, uh, Thomas and uh, and uh, Josh as well. Josh was here earlier. Gabor, okay, okay, Gabor. Do I need to put like any spin on any of the any of the pronunciation, or is it is it right? Sheesh! What's going on, Jordino? Gonna add a little bit of water for this touch-up pass. That's a new face, Jordino. So is it is it Gabor? I don't know. Good. Oh, did I, Jordan? Okay. Hey, I didn't realize that. What did, uh, what? So, Gabor or, okay, Gabor, Gabor. Okay. Cool, Jordan. I didn't know that. I think, uh, I honestly think you've only probably left like one other comment. I recognize the name, but I didn't recognize, um, I don't see you too often. I got you into straight tags, did I? <laughs> yeah, I'll be, um, as soon as I get my shipment in and I get these razors honed, I'll be sending several of you uh, some razors. Yeah, my, my DEs don't like me much either, honestly, just because um, I, I prefer straights. Well, I appreciate when you stop by, Jordino. Actually, the past several weeks, my uh, my straight razors haven't really liked me too much, nor have they liked LP because he sent me all these razors to try out that I've got to get back soon. Oh, thanks, Jordan. I appreciate you watching, man. You guys are the reason I make the videos. Awesome, DK. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm trying not to rush. Just trying to get, you know, baby bottom smooth shave. Awesome. Good. That's actually a really good shave. Uh, the shaving soap for today is Taylor of Old Bond Street's Sandalwood. It's a it's a cream. You can see there. I just uh, with a cream you could either load from the tub with the brush. I don't like to do that with with creams just because you know the water's going to stay in there really. Um, so I just scoop it with my finger, put it on my face, and lather. Uh, bowl lathering is also fairly easy. With the, uh, with the Taylor of Old Bond Street Creams. All right, let's get a cold water rinse and then I'll read chat really quick. I haven't looked at it too, too much. I don't know if I opened something there or what. Let's see. I make the best videos? Eh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> I make videos. All right, so let's go with uh, Thayer's Witch Hazel. Rose petal, little astringent. I saw that Thayer's actually had um, 
like pads with with the witch hazel on them. I don't know why you would use like I'm trying to think of a reason why you would use like one of the Thayer's pads as opposed to just I don't know putting the liquid on your hands or some kind of applicator. And just you know I don't know whatever. Cool. <clears throat> it's like a, okay, it's like a cleanser as opposed to like a, oh, well, I apparently, I wonder if that was the Balzano that did this, all these little weepers that are popping up, because the Balzano was definitely tugging quite a bit on that uh, second pass. All right, for the aftershave, we have a couple of options. We have Sterling's Deep Blue Sea. We have Stetson, regular Stetson. Uh, we have uh, 4711. We have Brute. And one more. I showed you the Stetson regular. We have Stetson methylated. So, which aftershave am I using? Stetson? Which one? Which Stetson? Mentholated or non mentholated? <laughs> Stetson 47 to love. All right, we need a tiebreaker. Who's the tiebreaker? Stetson or 47 to 11, those two are in the, uh, in the running. Which one? Which one? Forty-seven eleven, nice that you're sent. All righty, forty-seven eleven it is. Forty-seven eleven is from Zachary James. What's going on, Zach? All righty. Yeah, this scent is is pretty pretty damn nice. Mm-hmm. Very very nice scent. I believe they make a they make a cologne as well, don't they? From 4711. EDP or uh, I'm going to go for a second splash. They make an EDP or EDT something. Oh yeah. Oh, very nice. It's actually a nice uh, cooling and like refreshing type of uh, scent too, you know? Like like drinking lemonade on a hot day or something. It feels kind of like that, except on your skin. Perfect, very nice. All right, and we're gonna finish up with a balm. Um, and I have GOF Trumpers. This is a uh, West Indian extract of limes or Duke Cannons. Watch out, they've got different combo scents. Okay. So Duke Cannon or that Balzano really opened me up there, didn't it? Jeez. And here. Duke Cannon. We'll go ahead and can it. <laughs> I don't remember what option A was, Alex. I really don't. So, so we're going to go with Duchenne. Lingofall always says I use way too much balm. Look, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could probably get a better shave than this was by not having the... Uh, I'm not telling you how the performance was on the razor until I get to the actual, like, you know, the, the, the review of it. It's good, though. I, I enjoy it. I do like it. With the Balzano on the second pass, uh, it sucked. But it, that wasn't the razor. That was the, that was the actual razor blade. But, yeah, I'll have the, uh, the full review um, in, a, in a day or two posted. Oh man, yeah, you can only get a better shave than I just had by um, by not having any weepers like I had. Other than that, you know, 
I don't see how you can get anything better. I'm completely, completely smooth. Just a couple weepers here and there. Whew. All right, well, let's go over what we used really quick. And then if you guys have any questions, I'll stick around for a little while. We're almost at 40 minutes. Uh, the ones you, the ones you try, which are the best two. Uh, best two razors, is that what you're, you're asking? The ones that I've tried that LP scent? Uh, we went with uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street's Sandalwood Shaving Cream. We used our fine Marvel razor. Very hefty thing. Very, very hefty. We started out with the Super Enox or Super Inox Balzano blade. And then that was like tugging on the second pass. So we switched out to the feather, which is in here now. We used our Maggard 30 millimeter super, uh, not super high density, 30 millimeter synthetic. I think that's their tuxedo knot. Finished it off with 4711. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but yeah, 4711s. And on top of that, some Duke Cannon. All right, so uh, how's the? Uh, oh yeah, the, the out of all the razors I've tried, what are my favorite two? I would say the so like there's different categories, right? Um, here I, I have them all right here. Let me let me show you. Give me one second. The, the count the counter down here is absolutely atrocious. Do you want to see the counter? I can show you the counter. I think I can. Watch. The counter down here just has I have everything um so yeah let's see uh so of the ones let's see let's see i think i prefer the de89 that's probably that's probably the one that i prefer more than anything the edwin jagger de89 that is that's something that I, I don't know. I, I just prefer the DE89 over anything else. The um, the next one, no, not the game changer. No way, no, no way. Um, <laughs> you know, the game changer, it probably wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have the Jaws base plate. If I had another base plate, it probably wouldn't be as bad as like I, I think it is. But I don't have another base plate to try. So this is the game changer here. Way too aggressive for me in my skin. You know those the open comb. Um, I this is actually my first live uh, live shave. So I in the past I have not done them often, but in the future I may continue to do them maybe once a week, once every other week, something like that. Um, <clears throat> but the most surprising I would tell you that the most surprising razor that I used is the Mula R41. Um, you know, this, this is touted by many, I hear this is going to be a weekly thing. <laughs> Who'd you hear that from? This is touted by many. This is the rose gold handle Mula R41 touted by many as like the most aggressive. I used a feather in this and had a very, very good shave. Um, I don't know. I, I just, it's efficient. It's extremely efficient, I, but I can't say it's aggressive. Like, at no point in time did I feel scared while using it. Um, however, with the Game Changer and the Jaws base plate, I did feel scared while using it. The uh, the little, this little thing here, I, I love this little thing. Um, I'll show you. Most of you probably already know what I'm talking about. But this is, this is just, I mean, look how tiny it is. Like, I, I understand. And I was calling, I was calling the Yuma that Alex sent me, tiny. Um, but, but the comparison is hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is great. Like I was expecting an okay shave. <laughs> you look how cute I was expecting an okay shave, but I, I think I got a phenomenal shave out of this. It's just, there's something about the head. Um, and then I don't know, maybe, maybe since the handle is so short, like I have more, I don't know. I can't tell you, but I had an amazing shave with this as well. So. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's a Gillette Tech Ball End Travel from 1966. 
This is a uh, Lingual Files notes here. Is that coming through um, like right side or, or does it look backwards? I don't know if that shows the correct way or not. The, the uh, Phoenix Artisan accoutrement, um, it's good? Okay, thanks. Gillette did well with that one. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. It's the right way around, cool. Um, so after I do the fine marble, which will be uploaded, like I said, either today or tomorrow, I gotta edit it a little bit. Um, I'll have the, uh, the Global Shave Club, the fat guy razor. Um, I'm interested in this one as well. This was based off of the, what was this based off of LP? You told me, I, I forgot. It's a twist to open design. And the, it goes from one, I don't know, if, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up or not. But it goes from one all the way to nine, as far, as far as the, um, the aggression or the, you know, adjustment, so. He told me, oh, the Gillette Fat Boy, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Global Shaving Club, Fat guy, this is based on the Gillette fat boy, yeah. I've gotta do my write up on this, um, and then uh, I'll record the video and get that uploaded probably early this coming week. Um, this is the set of Balzano's that I'm sending back with ULP along with two straights that I have home for you whenever I send this whole box back. Um, where did Alex say? I asked to see I saw Alex say, better run to pick up the girlfriend, talk to you later. What, your girlfriend's more important than us? All right. All right, man. Appreciate you stopping by, Alex. It's always a pleasure. The, um, oh, I showed this before as well. LP sent this. This is the adjustable uh, Q-Shave with magnetic base. This is super, super similar to, uh, take care too, man. Appreciate it. Super similar to my other Q-Shave device. Um, obviously not identical by any means, but like the, the finish is very, I think it's like the finish is identical. Um, you have a bit more adjustment there, but the the cool thing with this is just the magnet. And just that's 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 really cool, you know. So yeah, this might be the the third after I do my uh, my fine marble, and then the global shape club, fat boy. <clears throat> You have the Gillette Slim adjustable, really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, no problem, no problem. You've sent me a lot to try out too, so. Um, yeah, the Gillette Slim adjustable. So you're talking about the, uh, the, the one that the fat guy is based off of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see uh, how all of those do. I'm gonna clean up the bathroom and if you guys have any questions while I'm cleaning up. Now I've gotta move everything in here back to the other bath. Not everything, because I'll, I'll keep some stuff in here for the next shave, but uh, the majority of the stuff has gotta go back out. Shake injector razors are your favorite razors. My favorite shaving format. Um, I don't have any shake at all. Um, I, I don't even have any injector. The only thing that I have that's not um, using like a standard DE blade is the Jim razor, my featherweight. I have that right here. I'll show you in a second. It's just the standard featherweight. This one's in really good condition though. Um, I kind of like talked to one of the eBay guys that were, that were selling it and I got it for a good price, but I also like, um, sent him a straight razor. It, it was a gold dollar that I had home. And, um, so yeah. But yeah, it, it's in really good shape, and I, I enjoy it. You have to ride the top cap, though, with this Jim Razor. If you don't ride the top cap, I get, like, very, I get very, um, like, spotty shapes without using the top cap as, like, a guide. This is a little the Jim Featherweight. Yeah, this is a little Jim Featherweight here. Like I said, this one's in really good condition. Um, nice and clean. <clears throat> but I have to ride the top cap or else I get poor shaves, unfortunately. Really? Shake injector is also your favorite. Do you, I mean, is there like a... Is there like a specific one or is it just any Schick injector? Or all of them? 
All of them pretty good. We're gonna uh, I'm gonna toss this Balzano out. We'll we'll say that that was just a random bad one, <laughs> even though it was the second one I've used. Type a lot of people recommend is the Type G. Okay. Is that easily found? And how, how about the razors? Are those easily found as well? Type J, you haven't tried them all? Okay. Type G and Type J. Are those numbers, are those letters rather based on the year they were made or is that just their naming scheme? Did it have a, it had to have some significance, right? As far as the lettering, it had to. You found yours on eBay? <clears throat> you have a Type G, yeah. Are the are the actual razors themselves like D, uh, the single edge blades, um, easily accessible, or do you have to kind of hunt them down? <clears throat> eBay and Etsy. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely look them up on eBay and, uh, and Etsy. A couple little weepers popping there. Dried weepers at this point. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it, though. You can get the blades on Amazon. Okay, so is it It's like new manufactured blades by different uh, people, or is it still the Schick or Gillette um, made blades? We had almost 50 minutes, holy cow. But, you know, I don't have anything else to do today. I, um, gonna probably get off of here and then go grab something to eat. And then you know what, I may take a nap because I can never take a nap when, when the baby's here. I can, and, and sometimes I do, but not often. Yep. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. I appreciate you uh, you joining me for my first uh, my first YouTube live shave, and uh, hopefully we can do it again. You know, I may um, may surprise you and do it every week. I don't really know. What am I gonna eat? I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, I still have some chicken marsala from like three days ago. I may warm that up with some uh, with some rice um, and eat that. But other than that, you know, I, I don't know. I may go grab something as well. Who knows? Thanks. Thanks, Gabor. Appreciate it, brother. Thank all you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, what are you going to eat? Probably food. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, as always, you know, it, it, is, it is appreciated that you guys are spending your time with me. Um, yeah, so, uh, I'll catch you guys for the next shave. See ya. See how I turn this thing off, because I don't even know. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes.